Hey YouTube, welcome to this episode of Mole Snap. I am now firmly in pool two. Uh, we are now collection level 480. Um, so we only have a couple of cards left. Um, two cards left in this pool and we'll have it completed and we'll move on to the collector caches, which is good. Uh, so I have built a pool two deck, uh, which revolves around Jubilee. Um, it makes use of cards like Quicksilver, which always draws on turn one. Domino, which always draws on turn two. Sunspot, just in case um, you get that turn three and can't play anything. I have put Groot in there just so I can play something on the third turn. Um, if I know the enemy is definitely going to play a card at a certain location, you've got Jubilee, which obviously pulls a card out of your deck and plays it. Uh, so that's why we've utilised high cost cards such as Hulk and Infidor uh, that are quite difficult to play sometimes. We've got Claw just in there um, in case we have him in our hand on the on turn five which buffs up the right location we've got gamora which buffs the her up if you play her where an enemy plays a card if it reveals spider woman nerfs all the other cards uh odin doubles up on the unrevealabilities america chavez which always draw draws on turn six so you, you can essentially rule out some of these cards from being picked up on turn four uh, so let's jump into a match and we'll demonstrate how this works. Yeah, I hope um, if any of you watching have been playing Marvel Snap, um, please do let me know. Uh, go on my Discord, which I will link below, and we can chat about it. You can make deck suggestions to me. Um, I can arrange live streams in there. And yeah, essentially we can just go from there and just have a bit of fun really um let's play sunspot just in case we don't get a card that we can play on turn three and it'll buff him um uh, he's doing the same okay so we'll domino into the middle location because we can play her now turn three is where you sort of struggle with this but I try and play as smart as possible with the first ones. Try and figure out what this guy is doing. On reveal effects happen twice at this location. Well, that is great because we've got Jubilee and that will then happen twice. Um, not going to play anything because I want to buff Sunspot. This is the awkward thing I'm on about. That's why I put Groot in the deck because uh, Otherwise, there's no three cost cards in this deck at all. Let's have a look and see what happens here. This is going to pull two cards down. Uh, one should be Hulk because we've already got Infinite in our hand. He's carnaged. Which is fine. It's twice. There's Groot which buffs because he's played his carnage there that turn is good and also pulls down Gamora which buffs as well twice so I'm gonna snap uh, cards here have plus five power let's spider woman which will nerf the power coming from these two cards just in case he's playing like a symbiote deck where he's got venom because it will absorb the power from there, so I want to nerf it as much as possible. I'm pretty confident we will win Amitage, so we just need to win middle location. Can't play Infinite because we played a card on the fifth turn because we played a card. So that will nerf those. Now, hmm, what is a smart play to do here? If I play Quicksilver in the middle location, he becomes a seven cost card, a seven power card. If I play Claw, doesn't matter. The enemy retreated because he knew he wasn't going to win. I was just trying to figure out whether playing Hulk with 17 is more beneficial than playing Quicksilver and Claw. Because that would have given me an extra 10 power on top of the... No, it wouldn't have. It would have been one less cost than playing the Hulk in the middle location. 
That's completely fine. Oh, we got a mission done. Lovely. I will take that. Thank you very much. And we can upgrade a car hut. A hundred, so we can upgrade one of our green ones. Got so many cards now, I'm losing track of it. Infinite. All right, let's upgrade you. And then we'll jump back in. With another one. Increase the collection level up. Got two cards missing from pool two, and then we're on to pool three. Unless we are in pool... No, we're not in pool three, because we don't have some of the pool three cards. But yeah, this is this is a really good pool two deck. I do recommend it, so... I will drop it below in the description, so please do check it out. Uh, he doesn't have a ongoing... He's just got a normal ability. So, again, it turn three, if we don't have anything to play, then I will just let him jump up to a one cost four cut. Yeah, we don't have group to play. That's fine, that's one less card in our deck, so he's actually helping us out by using that. Um, for the sake of one power here and another power there, let's play Quicksilver. So it buffs Sunspot by one. Because we've already drawn Domino, so it doesn't really matter too much. Right, let's play Domino over here, we might as well get a Hulk. See if he loads up this location. If he does, that's going to make it a little bit interesting for us. But most of our abilities are um, on reveal and not ongoing. So, yeah, okay, I think we may lose this location. But that's fine. We'll just prioritise Isle of Silence and Fist Tower. Can't play anything that turn, but that is not a problem because Sunspot then gets another four power, which takes him up to a seven power card. Nova, yeah, you're going to Carnage it, which destroys it. Then buffs all of those by one. That by that. That becomes 16 power. That's fine. Because what we can do is we can Jubilee. Which should pull Infernaut. We've got three cards left in our deck. Spider Woman, Infernaut, or what's the other one? They're all and everything else. Uh, America Chavez. America Chavez. Now, thing is, what do we do here? Because he knows he's got to play something here to win it, or he's got to keep his lead here. So, what do we do? Let me go more in the middle location, just hope he doesn't play anything here. Yeah, here we go. Double buffs up. He wins though, without right power. That's, yeah. You can see how it works. Um, it's just unlucky that he had a Mr. Sinister and triple stacked that location. But it is what it is. That happens sometimes. Can't do much about it. Or oh. one of my gray ones. What's one of my gray ones? Sandman. What? Well, take him up to green. Yo, getting ever so closer to the end. Alright, let's go again. See how this goes. Um, if you guys do have any deck suggestions, please drop them in the comments below. Um, if you could also like, comment, and subscribe, turn on the notifications. I am trying to upload every other day. Um, however, I do post regularly on YouTube itself and in my Discord to let you know if that does change. We've got no target, which is good. And we've already got Jubilee in our hand, which is good. We've got Hulk in our hand. So, fair card here, shuffle three Vibranium into your deck. Yeah, I don't want to do that yet until I've played Jubilee. I 
Ant-Man. So I know you're going to play a card here. So this is when we would play group. Because I'm pretty sure he's going to play a card here. Ooh. Although, he's, want, he's going to want to draw two cards. But I don't want to draw cards. I want them in my deck. So let's group. Because he's going to try and play on his Ant-Man. I think. Oh, we've got Infinite in our hand now. Yeah, there we go. That's good. Thank you very much for the free power. Takes us in the lead there. Right, we Jubilee into middle location and turn because we've already got enough cards in our hand to finish the rest of the game. So it's either going to pull out America Chavez or Spider Woman or Gamora. Gamora. That's nice. Okay, you're going to buff those or two cards. Yeah, that's completely fine, mate. Not really bothered. All right, so I think we floor here and then we Odin middle, which will then reactivate Jubilee and Gamora's abilities. So I'm going to snap. I think we've got this one in the bag, which this adds an extra four power to the right location as well. Bishop. Yeah. Okay. Right, so we're winning middle. That's going to go up by one every time he plays another card. We just got to win here. Um, oh, bit of a sketchy situation. He, I know this deck. He is going to play either Onslaught or Blue Marvel. So I need to stay ahead of him. But how do I do that in this situation? That's going to get buffed after each one. I think I have to do that and then that. And then Sunshot gets another four power, but that's not going to be enough. Yet. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a loss. It was really fortunate for him that Vibranium Mines come, came up. If he didn't have Vibranium Mines, he would have lost. But you can see how the deck works. Um, thank you very much, guys, for watching. Uh, another quick, short video. I try and keep these below 15 minutes. Um, just because I don't want you sat here watching me play for 30 minutes. I save that for sort of stream where it's a bit more interactive. So thank you very much, guys. And um, please check out the deck below. Check out my socials in the description. And as I said before, please like. See you next time.